This is Hlaozae Di Semeng, the second biggest economic hub and the hardest hit in COVID-19. Oxygen, or lack thereof, has been one of the key causes of death to many COVID-19 related deaths. This a rude awakening to the Prime Minister. Oxygen in Lesotho was always a, a side issue, we were always buying it from uh, Afrox and not paying Afrox for the oxygen that we have used. But <laughs> today we have our own plans and if we don't pay, we will not be paying ourselves. That's fine, perhaps that will be <laughs> less pain. Majoro hits back to negativity surrounding donation of vaccines from various partners, saying the modern day challenges demand global partnership approach. There's been some people the doubters who have commented negatively for each donation of vaccine that we have received, they should know the context. We are a global and we are in a global partnership. Countries help each other. Even we as tiny Lesotho, the little that we have, we share with others. We have our own brothers and sisters in Mozambique today seeking and trying to secure peace for northern Mozambique. We share the little that we have. We should be proud to receive and others are proud to receive from us as well. Oxygen is a simple intervention but despite being so it remains in very uh, short supply. And this has been exacerbated uh, by the pandemic, which has made this a full-blown emergency. Therefore, installation of uh, a medical oxygen plant here is a great milestone in terms of the fight against this outbreak. Not only will this plant help management of COVID cases, it will go a long way saving lives and also strengthening the health systems of this country. The collaboration between the private sector and government has hardly ever been a smooth sail, often marred with corrupt intrusions. In fact, when we got the proposal from the Minister of Health to have this oxygen plant, it was in 2017 and we didn't know anything about coronavirus. But it met many challenges. Uh, maybe the importance of it speaks for itself now. But it met many challenges where uh, there were many uh, corrupt intrusions uh, where we had to abort it. At least we aborted it about two times. This time we had to work hand in hand with the DCO. But while government is trying its best to fight the spread of COVID-19, it is most encouraging to see vaccination being taken seriously despite some hesitancies. I, I am encouraged to see people queuing, you know, to go and get vaccinated. You know, in the past, you know, it was surrounded by allegations that uh, it is not a good vaccine, people might do, lose their lives. But really, recently, people are beginning to appreciate it. I mean, it starts with us, you know, to, to show them that uh, we are doing it, then we're expecting you to do it, uh, you know, uh, equally. You're saying vaccine has some side effects, we know that. So if you push somebody to go and take the vaccine, when they are already still not convinced, after those, uh, even my minor uh, side effects, they, they might blame you for doing that. So it means we need to reassure them, like take them step by step until they, we get where we want them to be. While COVID-19 hospitalization has drastically reduced, this oxygen plant has the capacity to fill a maximum of 60 cylinders per day if pushed to the limit. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Le Ribel Soto.